terrible job explaining these things, but I'm just so excited about them, and I don't know how to express my feelings, so I'm sorry if I make no sense in this video. If at any point during this video, like, I feel like I need to say this, if I seem like I'm ungrateful or, like, being sarcastic or something like that, it's honestly just because I was so overwhelmed, and I'm still so overwhelmed with everything I got, and I'm just, like, so thankful for everything because I didn't expect to get anything from Dan's family. Obviously, I expected things from my own family, but I was so spoiled this Christmas, and, like, just beyond thankful for everything and everybody who gave me things so yeah if I seem like weird in this video it's just because I'm overwhelmed and just sometimes I don't know how to act properly okay that's honestly what it is hey guys it's Jay and today I am here with another video a lot of you guys asked me if you I would show you my what I got for Christmas this year. So I figured I would do it. I want to put a preference because I know somebody's going to comment down below saying that I'm bragging. I'm not bragging. I feel like everybody needs to say this in these videos. I am so thankful for everything I got. And without further ado, let us get started. I kind of like broke my presents into like who gave them to me basically. So I'll start with my parents. I knew pretty much everything that I was getting. Mom and I are really, really close. So we basically always go shopping together. So if she sees something that I would like, she'll usually just be like, oh, I'll buy it for you and, like, pretend, to, like, to be surprised and, like, forget that you got it. So that's basically what happened with everything here. I'm just gonna grab from my pile. There's no order or anything, but... The first stuff is from my stocking. The first thing that I got was Finding Dory band-aids. I think they're so cute. I destroyed the box trying to get into them because I have no self-control, but I'm always getting hurt, and I'm always cutting myself on something, so... I get band-aids every year, and this year they're Finding Dory. They also got me a gift card to Metro, which is like our grocery store here in Canada. Need groceries, you know, to survive, so now I have money to spend on food, which is good because I always refuse to go to the grocery store because I feel like I'm broke and don't want to buy food, which is very bad for you. Eat, people. You need to eat. My mom also picked up this little tiny mouse, and... When I opened it, I literally had no idea what it was. I was like, a uh, paperweight? But it's actually so like you take your rings and you put them on the little tail and they hold your rings. Like that's actually so smart because I usually just throw my rings on my like table beside my bed. So like I'll probably lose them one day. But now I have a little mouse and he will protect my rings. I also got some Lindor salted caramel chocolates. I love anything salted caramel. It's like one of my favorite flavors other than like chocolate mint or chocolate peanut butter. So basically like chocolate is apparently a very big part of my life. I usually get some kind of Lindor chocolate in my stocking, so this year, caramel with sea salt. I also get lottery tickets every year. I already scratched them. I didn't win. Last year I won like $36 or something like that, but this year nobody in my family won, so we are still broke. But, you know, maybe next year we'll hit the million. also got gingerbread latte lotion from Bath & Body Works. If you, like, know me in real life, you know that I have, like, an obsession with Bath & Body Works. I literally have, like, three containers full of, like, three drawers, so it's like 12 drawers full of like Bath and Body Works stuff. I just like, I love it so much and I'm a sucker for it, so. I actually didn't have this flavor, so my mom is a smart cookie and got me one that I don't have. And I love it, because it smells like gingerbread and I love the smell of gingerbread, so thank you, mommy. And then every year we also get the new Olympic Canada mittens. They come out every year at Hudson Bay, so we got a pair of those. They're so warm and I love them and my ones from last year have a hole in them so I'm happy that I have a new pair and I think these ones are my favorite design so far because they're usually just red and white but they go the gray and the white and then my mom and I were in the store and we saw these and they were like on sale so my mom was like you can have two pairs and just pretend you don't know about them so knowing me I jumped on that and they are these little socks and they're so cute and they have little reindeer on them they're what I call reading socks like I wear them when I'm reading because they're super thick and super warm and cuddly. And then I have another pair that I think are adorable. They have little pom-poms and I just loved that pattern when I saw it and I was like, Mom, she was like, okay. So, I love them. And they're so ridiculously warm. Like, if you guys don't have a pair of reading socks, I highly suggest getting them. And then you, like, curl up with a blanket and, like, hot cocoa and you're just reading and it's wonderful. And then I've been wanting a baseball hat from my university since I've seen everybody on campus wearing it. And, you know, I want to be like everybody else, apparently. When I went to the campus store, I couldn't find my size because they only had a large and extra large. And my head is, like, not that big. 
and it's one of those ones that aren't adjustable, so I was like, oh, I can't wear it if it doesn't fit me. And every time I would go back to the store, they wouldn't have my size. So then me and my mom went one afternoon, and they had my size, so she was like, okay, I'll buy it for you, but, like, pretend you don't know about it. Which is, like, the theme of this video, just pretend you don't know about it. So my mom got me a U of T baseball hat, and I love it so much, and I'm so excited about it because, like, I've wanted it for so long because... I just, I like baseball hats, and it's my school, so pride, you know? And then the last thing that was in my stocking was this journal. It's just like your regular lined paper journal. I've been journaling, like writing about my days and stuff since like I was probably like 10, and I stopped once I started university and recently started it again this year. So my mom bought me a new one because I'm almost done the one that I'm filling out now. Every year we get a like big present is what our family calls it, and we get one from my parents and then one from Santa. So I don't actually know which one was from Santa and which one was from my parents, but I got this sweater which I picked out with my mom because she wanted to get me one because they're so warm. We call them blanket sweaters here in Canada. I don't know if other people do, but me and my mom call them blanket sweaters. But it's basically like half a poncho. That's how I explain it. But it goes on and it's not like it doesn't have arms or anything like that, so... And then this is probably my favorite present from my parents. I just love it so much and it's like so addictive. But it is this pillow. Doesn't sound that exciting, right? Because like it's a pillow. But watch, are you ready for this? Are you? It changes color. It's a, it's a changing color pillow. Tell me that that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. So I'll probably not be able to bring it to school because I will literally sit there and just play with it. But like tell me it's not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Like it ch it's so cool. I love it. I love it so much. I mean, like, it's not very comfortable to lie on because the sequins, like, stick to your face and, like, leave little indents, but it's fun to play with. And then the final present that I got from my parents is one that I had no idea I was getting, so, like... It was the one that I was, like, genuinely surprised about, and I was so happy about it. If you haven't seen my Vlogmas Day 25, then I'll link it up above, and that's when I opened it, and I, like, squealed like a little baby. And it is Illumine by J. Kristoff and... Amy Kaufman, my mom. mom wrapped it up in the sweater, so I knew I was getting the sweater, so when I picked it up, it was like super heavy, because like this is a hefty book. So I picked up the sweater, and I was like, why is it so heavy? Like, I know that it's a sweater. And then this was wrapped inside, and I was so happy. I've already read it. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Check out my December wrap-up if you want to know more. Then, Dan and I went to his Christmas dinner, and I was sufficiently spoiled there. And I had no idea that I was going to be getting presents, so I was very overwhelmed because, like, his family, literally everybody there is so sweet and kind, and I just had no idea what was happening. So I was, like, thrown presents at, and I was, like, freaking out because I didn't know what was happening. So I am, like, beyond thankful for them as well because, like, th they didn't have to get me anything. Like, we have not been dating that long, so thank you. The first thing that I opened was from his mom and dad. And his parents are so sweet. His mom is like literally the nicest lady in the entire world. Like I don't think there's another person nicer than her. The first thing that she got me. I'm going to say she got me everything because I doubt that his dad had anything to do with it because dads don't shop. So we're just going to say that she got me everything. But she got me some socks and a girl can never have enough socks, so I'm very happy about that. I also got this little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. It's in Holly Jolly Berry, so holiday. And I think it's really cute because like Santa hat, how cute is that? She also picked up a Terry's Chocolate Orange. Which is funny because everyone in my family gets one of these in their stockings, but I never do because I get the Lindor chocolate. So I was telling my mom, I was like, mom, it's not fair. I want a chocolate orange. And then I went to Dan's house and I got chocolate orange. So I was very happy and I love these because they're like the chocolate that you have to like smack on the floor, like the table to make it break apart. It just, I just like doing it. And I never get to because I never get one in my stocking, but Apparently, Carolyn knows. Carolyn always knows. First thing that she picked out for me was the Be Joyful shower gel from Bath & Body Works. Again, I love Bath & Body Works, and this actually smells so good. I never smelled this one before, and it is apparently sparkling clementine, golden mango, and frosted jasmine, but it is delicious, and I am so excited about it. She also included one of these EOS lip balms, and I love these. They go on so smooth. They're my favorite lip balm, so I was very happy when I saw this in my little package. Next two things I am so happy about. Like, like I opened them and I was like, ah, these are going to be so useful in the cold winter of Toronto. And She got me a scarf, and it is the softest scarf in the entire world. Like, I can not. It's so, like, I
like, I don't know what it's made out of, like, obviously some kind of wool, but it is, like, I could literally just rub my face on it all day. It's just so nice. And it has gold sparkles in it, and if you know me, I love sparkly things, so I love it so much, and I'm gonna have so many uses for it in Toronto, like, it's gonna be well worn. The best thing in the entire world that they got me. <gasps> I love it so much. There are these gloves, and honestly, guys, like, they are the warmest gloves in the entire world. Like, they're lined. I don't know if you guys can see how soft this is, but it is so soft. It's like fleece or something. They're gonna be so useful in Toronto because they get, it, it gets like negative 40 sometimes. Like, hasn't this year? Like, knock on wood. So, these are gonna be very useful. And they also have these idiot strings. I don't know if that's what you guys call them in wherever you are, but my family calls them idiot strings, and it's basically so you can't lose your gloves, so you put your gloves on and then you put your coat on, and then you can like take them off and they hang from your coat. I just, I've never had a pair, and it just makes me excited for it. I love it. So after his parents, I got a present from his aunt and uncle and two cousins. And his two cousins are like literally the cutest things in the entire world. I love them. But his cousin Maddie picked out two things for me. First thing is this little jewelry holder. So it says celebrate, and it's super cute, and I love it. And basically you just put your jewelry in it at the end of the night, so you don't lose it. And then she also picked out this scarf for me. I love scarves. Like, I can never have too many scarves. I have a million of them, but I don't have a red one. So I was very excited when I opened this, to be honest, because I was like, <gasps> I only have, like, purple scarves. I really like purple, so any other color is always a good addition to my ever-growing collection. But it's also, like, super warm and thick, so it's gonna be super great for the Toronto weather, for sure. And then I received a Bath and Body Works package from Nick and Andrea. Who are Dan's older brother and his girlfriend, who I love by the way, they're so funny. I got the pink cashmere scent, so it comes with a body lotion and spray as well as shower gel. It smells so good. And I've never smelled it before. It's kind of similar to Pink Chiffon, which is like my favorite Bath and Body Works smell ever. But apparently this one is pink jasmine petals, white amber, and cashmere musk. But it smells delicious, so might end up being my favorite smell other than pink chiffon. I'm gonna leave Dan's presents for last because they're the ones that are like the most surprising and like amazing to me. So I, I want to save them for last because you save the best for last, you know? So I'm gonna move on to what my dad's side of the family got me. My two aunts got me money. Because, you know, I'm 21 now so like it's hard to buy for a 21 year old and know what they want. So I'll probably end up using the money on either books to be honest or groceries. So thank you to both my aunts for that. And then my other aunt, Brenda, knows how much I love Taylor Swift. So she got me the Taylor Swift scented lime. I don't know. It's called Incredible Things. I have never actually smelled this before getting it, but I actually really like it. It smells like florally, I guess, but it comes with body lotion and then a spray and then like a roll-on perfume. I honestly don't know the difference between like different perfumes. Like, you know how there's like eau de toilette and like eau de water, whatever. I don't know the difference, but two perfumes and body lotion. And my best friend, Abby, came over yesterday, actually, and she brought me presents. You guys have probably seen her in videos from, like, two years ago when she had, like, super long hair. She now has hair that comes up to, like, here and is, like, shaved on the side. It looks awesome, but I love Abigail, so. She knows me very well, so she got me a gift card to Indigo Chapters, which is, like, our Barnes & Noble, basically. So, thank you, Abigail. Thank you very much. And then she got me, like, the cutest present in the entire world. Like, I'm so happy about it. Like, I squealed. This little stitch pillow. Like, Tubby is not the cutest thing in the entire world. Like, <gasps> he's so cute. He's, like, kind of like a pillow, but also, like, a stuffed animal. And, like, look at his little tail. He has a little tail butt. And just, I love it so much. And he's so comfy, actually. I've been, like, using him as a pillow to read and, like, prop myself up. And I just, I love him so much. And she just knows me so well. And he's so cute. And it makes me so happy. And finally, on to Dan's presents. And... I want to say thank you again to Dan because, like, spoiled beyond belief. Like, I was so overwhelmed I cried like a baby when I opened his presents because they're just so thoughtful and just, I was not expecting them at all. I'm just going to go in the order that I opened them because I, I'm still overwhelmed by it, to be honest. So the first thing I ended up opening were these flaky bars. I mentioned in my vlogmas video that flakies were my favorite chocolate bar. So Dan decided that he was going to buy an entire case full of them. Like, not just four. He literally bought an entire case. Like, you know those cases? of chocolate at the checkout at grocery stores that you like take one from. Yeah, no, he bought literally the entire case of it. So he's just like consistently been giving me flaky bars and like such a cute little boyfriend he is, but I 
love flaky bars, so I'm not complaining about it. He picked out this shirt for me. It's like black and white checkers plaid. Is, is checkers still plaid? I don't know, but... It's so comfy. Like, I've been wearing it a lot lately and just, like, lounging in it with leggings and my big reading socks, and it is just, like, the most comfiest outfit ever. So, he did well. He did well. Because it's really hard to buy clothes for me because I'm so tall and my arms are so long. So, any clothes that actually fit me, like, I applaud you. I applaud you because it's super hard. Then he picked up this hot pink Nike lanyard. And his um, reasoning behind this was because I leave my keys at home all the time. I always forget them. So his theory is that since I now have a lanyard to put them on, I can't forget them. And I mean, it's very bright, so it will be hard to leave them anywhere. Too. And then he also got me the necklace that I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but it's like a little so Saworski. I don't know how to say that. But it's a little Saworski jewel, and it's so pretty. Like, I love it so much, and I'm pretty sure Andrea picked it out, but I'm gonna give Dan the benefit of the doubt and say that he knows what I like. I opened this first, actually, and I thought that it was, like, the big present or whatever, so I was like, oh my god, I got jewelry, like, this is so exciting. And then I moved on to the rest of the presents, and it just got bigger and bigger, and, like, <laughs> I was so overwhelmed, I cried like a baby. So the next present that he got me, I opened, and I thought that that was the big present, and it's a coach clutch. Like, what? I opened it and I was like, I don't know how to react right now. Like, oh my god. He always has theories behind every present that he gets, okay? So his theory behind this one was we went to Wonderland, which is like an amusement park, and I didn't have a clutch, so I just had my pocket, and he wanted me to hold his phone. And I couldn't hold his phone because I didn't have a clutch, so I had to hold it in my pocket. So I had, like, my phone, his phone, my money. Like, I had so many things in my pocket. So he decided that I needed a coach clutch, apparently, and I love it. It's my first, like, designer anything. So I opened it and I was like, oh my god, like, are you serious? Like, I literally was like, are you serious? Not knowing that the big present was coming, so we'll get to that. So then, the final present. I, um, still can't believe that he got me it. I freaked out a little bit inside, like, my heart still beats fast when I think about it. But it is a, um, Michael Kors watch? I know. He got me a Michael Kors watch. Like, I opened it, and he did the thing where you wrap it, like, five times, so you just have to keep unwrapping it. So when I finally got to the box, I was like, Really? Are you serious? And then I opened it and burst into tears. So I love it so much. I think it's like the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen and like forever thankful for it. I just, I can't. All right guys, so those are all the presents that I got for Christmas. Like this is more than I've ever received in my entire life. So I'm beyond thankful for it. Everybody was so sweet to me this year and just like thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.